Many people are bewildered or enraged by what Jesus said and turn away. And I find it very important that the gospel tells us this detail. It's not a story of success, of victory, it's a story of human life as it is. Obviously, it's always just a few people who really seek God. And obviously, it's only a few people who really believe. And for that, you need a clear decision and confession. We hear such a confession from Peter who says, where shall we go to? You alone have words of eternal life. And by that, he sums up the whole chapter. Life for the Bible is not just survival, but life in abundance, life of eternity. And that is given by Jesus, who is giver and gift at once, because he himself gives the bread the symbol for what he is, the substance of life. We have to receive to take this life into us, and by that we do not practice cannibalism, we do not eat the human being Jesus, we receive what the Bible and the Gospels of St. John in particular calls the Word of God. And the Word of God is nothing else but Jesus Christ himself. And the Word of God is the very Word by which he called creation into life, into existence. And finally, the confession of Peter recalls another sentence which says, human beings do not live by bread, on bread alone, but on every word which comes out of God's mouth. Thank you for listening to my thoughts. Should you like to comment, please feel free to do so in the commentaries. And naturally, we hope that you might subscribe our channel.